Welcome everyone to your Strawberry Moon reading. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. This beautiful Strawberry Moon that's getting ready to come out on the 14th. Bringing in a lot of energy of good luck, prosperity, abundance. Great time for manifesting. Okay, letting go, things of this nature. Let's see what's going on with you. Reflect on your priorities. So this new moon's energy is talking about reflect on your priorities. Last quarter moon in Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, and this is the Merkaba activation. Transcendence, ascension, you are rising up. Wow. So it's kind of like its own transformation um, on an energy level, right? But we're talking more like on psychic senses. We're talking more on like the crown chakra, on getting activated within your soul area of your life, really pushing your limits of your soul um, over here. When we're talking about this kind of ascension, right? Ascending to higher levels um, within your psyche. Let's put it that way. So this is talking about a conscious lack. Intuition. Well, well yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to kaboom your intuition, right? Um, because it wants you to start manifesting, right? Because this is talking about intuition and manifestation. The strawberry moon is about manifesting, telling you it's the perfect time to start manifesting. Um, so it's time for the next, you know, the next level. But it really wants you to push you to the next level, though, over here. Right. So it feels like whatever you feel that there's a, a conscious lack of within your life, it wants you to be more aware of the situation of how you're perceiving this. Right. Because the strawberry moon is a very positive, a very positive moon um, that really wants you to dig deep. Right. Into your affirmations of what it is you truly, truly want. So it doesn't want you to, you know, to um, have lack. I guess that's, that's a good way of putting it, too. It doesn't want you to have lack. It wants your manifestations to be closer to you. So, you know, it doesn't want you to have any kind of procrastination, no back and forth energy. Um, you know, it really wants, it's a wake up sign, the strawberry moon. Wake up. Here we go. Stop procrastinating. Get your priorities straight. You know what you really need. It's time to take the first leap and go for it, right? Let's get going. Get there for your, in, yeah, your intentions. Having patience. Ouch. <laughs> it's like patience. Draw on that patience. <clears throat> yeah, I know about patience. I don't have much. Got it. Destiny. Yeah, but really learning to really keep the patience for the manifestations and really keep your intentions clear. So it's talking also about a lot of good balance over here, right? As you're ascending into this this place over here. Let's get this card out really fast, guys, so we can actually see exactly what it's saying. This is now my second time using them. Getting excited, right? Because I'm actually using them. Okay, hold on one second, guys. This is actually, okay, so actually this is really cool, okay? The Merkaba, right? So it says, in ancient Egyptian, the mer means light, the ka means spirit, of course, and the ba means body. So light, spirit, and body. That's still a powerful three within yourself, just different, right? Because like I said, it's more spiritual. It's not really, you know, yeah. So it's light, spirit, body. Instead of body, mind, and spirit. Hmm. So it's definitely still a very powerful three within yourself, but on that that side of, of your higher self. Very cool. When these three words are put together, the idea is the light engulfs the spirit and body, and there is an opportunity to rise up, and that's the ascension. So the symbol of the Merkaba is the star. Okay. So there's the star tetrahedron. This eight pointed star is simply the three dimensional extension of the hexagon, a symbol that is strongly associated with the Hebrew and Egyptian mystery schools. Wow. I'm getting into some like mystery stuff over here, guys. 
So in modern spirituality, the Merkaba is acknowledged as the light body or vehicle that we can activate for the ascension process. It has been said that it is surrounded by the eight-pointed star, and when we're aligned on a spiritual level, the star spins at a great speed. Whoa, okay, so it almost sounds like chakras. It's kind of like, hey, if we're balanced within our chakras, it's, spinning, it's a spinning wheel. So creating a sphere of unbreakable light around us. Oh my gosh, so you just kind of like see it spinning, spinning, and it's pushing this light out towards you. Whoa, no wonder your intuition is going crazy and you're going to be able to manifest because you have this. And that's why it doesn't want you to be in a conscious lack of understanding what's going on. It wants you in, to, it wants to engulf you. It's going to engulf you, but it wants you to also hold on to it tight, grab it, know it. Wow, guys, that's so cool. So what it's doing really is raising your vibration and becoming a magnetic presence of the wisdom of light. Whether you know it or not, you're still your soul is still receiving all that's coming through, supporting your expansion. You are moving up the level, whether you like it or not, it's time to fly high. So it's telling you in this thing, it doesn't matter. You know, you can, you know, pull it, know it, because I've told you, but it says you don't really have a choice. It's pushing at you no matter what, spinning, because your higher self is pushing, is picking it up. That's where the conscious lack is coming from because it's saying you don't really know that this is going on, but your higher self knows. And it, it pretty much that it don't care. <laughs> it's like pretty much it's like, well, and I don't care if you consciously are aware of this. I, it doesn't matter. But by at least taking hold of it, you guys, right, it's going to cause the patience because now you have the reading, so you have the understanding, and so it can actually push your solar plexus into this, but it's pretty much saying that this is already pushing towards your solar plexus. It's, it's something that's happening whether you like it or not, right? But at least what it's telling you though, so your learning lesson of the point is, is reflect upon your uh, priorities. So what I'm thinking is this thing is coming. It's coming at you. It's going to open up this thing and all of a sudden you're going to have this like intuition going crazy. Because I can see you all of a sudden just saying, oh my God, now I have to do this. And I got to do this priority and I have to do that. And oh my God, I got all these things that I have to do. And then you're going to be like, where the hell is all this coming from? Why do I feel like I'm multitasking from hell? Like literally. And maybe at high speeds, right? Now all of a sudden you feel like you're pulling all these different directions. This is where your patience is going to really come through so that you can get on the destined path. This destined path, though, it's so crazy because this is literally broken into two areas. Your soul is saying, this is going to happen whether you like it or not. And this area says, oh, now all of a sudden all these crazy things are happening. I don't get it. I don't know why it's happening, but this is what's happening. And as that solar plexus is getting all your intentions together for your priorities, yeah, I do feel you're going to be kind of pulled in different directions. But it's all for good luck. Remember, it's bringing in good luck. Time for manifesting, and that's when you're going to start manifesting. It's time for, um, you know, blessings, all these good things. So it's not a negative. It's just the way we as people work, right? It's going to get you moving, moving. That's for sure. And then it feels like within 10 days or so, you're going to find yourself on this destined path. I just can't wait to see what the 10 days after this goes. It's going to be anywhere between a week to two weeks. All of a sudden, you start seeing all these wonderful things coming through. But you're going to feel like you're getting things done, too. And maybe it's things you've been kind of putting off. But now, all of a sudden, you're just going to feel like you're pushed to do so. Why am I getting this energy of push to do so? Yeah, yeah because it's kind of like you're separated from your soul. Um, the separation actually is kind of like what it just said. It doesn't matter because it's going whether or not you're, you're aware of it or not. So it, that's where it feels like the separation of the three. Remember, it just said that, the Merkaba. So it doesn't matter because it's already connected. It's a part of you. That is so cool. Okay, so this says then it's going to bring in this focus to where it's gonna want you to bring in these priorities. It's gonna like grab your attention. And then all of a sudden your intuition's gonna start sparking 
Next thing you know, you're manifesting, and it's a great time to manifest anyways, okay? So those of you who are really, you know, want to get that manifestation started, uh, perfect timing now, right? Just watch fragmenting energy a little bit, right? I always say that. But right now, I don't even see that even happening. Um, why? Because the Merkaba is going crazy. So I wouldn't, I'm not even worried about that. Make your board, guys. Make your dream board. That's it. Put it on paper. Do whatever. Because I don't even see anything over here. You're so activated. I don't even think it matters. You got so much energy coming towards you. I don't even think fragmenting. Oh, but you know what? That is true, though, because the last reading, though, it did say, though, at the end of the month, be careful of fragmenting energy. So wait, I'm going to take that back because it did say something about that. It did say something about fragmenting energy towards the end. Be careful, right? Okay. So I got the fool over here. And the fool's going, yeah, it's time for risks. It's time to take the leap of faith. But that's what it says, though. But I already said that. It's time to jump. Because we could see that with and, re you know, reflect on your priorities. Because that card's saying it's time to jump. It's time to go. It's time to go for it. It's time to transform. Don't look at your failures. You know, don't worry about your failures. Worry about what's coming. Let go of the failures. Who cares? Right? Who cares? Yeah, just keep going forward and going after what you truly want. Right? Consult with your own feelings and your own logic and your own intentions. Really going for what you really need with patience. Opening up the wheel of fortune. Wow, look at destiny. <clears throat> Same card. So it's saying, yeah, because this is opening up that good luck, the awareness of good luck, bringing in the things that you really want, not having to worry about it. Everything's going to be okay. You know, don't truly listen to your brain at this time. Right now, it's truly listening to your intuition and to your feelings, right? Intuition come from your feelings. That's the whole piece of it, right? So listen to your feelings and your gut intuition will then tell, tell you what you need to know, right? And this will be the truth. The truth of the situation is do not ignore your intuition. Step through the doors that you need. Have the confidence to shine. Oh, we know that. Yep. The sun coming out. There's the confidence to shine. I heard that. There it is. Why? Because that's, that's what you need to be doing. Really following your own passion. Following what you really want. Look, you're already activated. Let's go. Kind of makes me think that this is going to really happen during the summer solstice on the 21st. Really feeling it starting to come through, right? Because then you're activating the Ace of Swords because now you're going to have this growth, this new understanding. Um, you know, everything that you're put through is clearly going to come through and you're really going to start seeing things for what things really are and really watching things coming together for you. Um, and it's going to be very uplifting and it's going to feel like you're achieving with confidence over here with the Ace of Swords. Really feeling there's an achievement with accomplishment for the blessings of what you really want. Feeling this sunnier, um, this sunnier, I don't know, you just, like you're shining. Like you feel so good on the inside, it's just going to shine on the outside. Wow. Okay. No worries. No anxieties. Moving to what you need with the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. And there could be a lot of travel involved as well. I see travel here now twice. So maybe you're also going to go do some something very fun and really shining, having fun that way as well. But however it is, it's really traveling towards where your priorities and your material really are um, and what you really want and what you're really reaching out to do. You might even have a fire sign around you who is trying to help you within this situation could be a Leo um, or an Aries or you might even have a Capricorn coming through or a Sag because I see a lot of fire um, but it also could be this Capricorn over here who's um, also there as well Capricorn or maybe a Taurus nine of Pentacles could be Taurus or Capricorn energy um, so anyway you want to see it it's like releasing all the negative emotions towards anything um, and really allowing everything out and then having this really sunny disposition over here where it's kind of like you're shining outwards. So it almost feels like this energy here that's shining and putting all of that out is actually going to activate you to look the same from the outside world. Wow.
That is so awesome. And I do feel like it's going to switch your mindset with the Ace of Swords. Because as you see all these things coming and your optimism is going really high and you really see things coming together, it is going to switch your mindset because you're going to have this under your disposition. You are going to feel like you're lighter, fresher, and like you actually are doing something and actually having things come back to you. Even if it's from the smallest little thing, it doesn't have to be something huge, right? It's just more aligning yourself with your opportunities, but it's... <laughs> Divinely done, guys. This is crazy because it's literally saying with the Merkaba, this is the activation that you get for this time period. Wow. So focus on your desire and watch it manifest. It's really what it's saying. Wow. Okay. And no negative energy, guys. Watch that. Um, too much fragmenting energy, too much wishy washing. You guys got this. You guys got this. I don't even think at this time, dude, you know, I would still watch Fragmenting Energy no matter what, but I don't know. I think right now everything is coming together so beautifully. Like you don't even have any negative thoughts. How amazing. Just keep your patience there and know what you want. You guys got this, okay? Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.